Winsome Christie is somebody who likes to see when other people excel. And particularly if I have anything to do with their growth, it makes me very happy. The one thing I can say is that I have learned so much from her. Working with Mrs. Christie is a bundle of joy. I mean, she can be um, a little pressuring sometimes. We have found her to be a very nice, jovial person, easy to get along with. Words of admiration from colleagues who have been positively impacted by their working relations with Mrs. Winsome Van Horn Christie. She is a dedicated public servant whose years of commendable service is being recognized with a national award. Her initial career choice was to be a teacher or a nurse. But destiny would lead Mrs. Van Horn Christie to media and communications, a path that has groomed and developed her professionally for over 43 years. Fresh out of high school, Winsome joined the public sector in 1979 when she landed a job at the Jamaica Information Service JIS, in the television department. With an appetite for knowledge and curiosity that propelled her ambition, she extended herself beyond her initial duty as a clerical officer. I wanted to see what happens in television, and so I volunteered until I became a production assistant. And then I started moving up from there. But then I loved the job. It didn't come in like work, because as a production assistant, we used to film many things after work and the work was also on weekend and I would be the one volunteering to work every weekend. I'd be the one volunteering to work on all of these dramatic productions. So you leave the studio at 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the morning and I'm back at my desk at 8.30. So for me it wasn't work, it was a lot of fun and I guess that's why I stayed there so long. Her tenure at JIS Television lasted 28 years, during which she achieved several promotions, eventually becoming head of the department. According to Mrs. Van Horn Christie, the dedication of the staff at the JIS was a strong motivational factor which influenced her commitment to whatever she did. Always meeting deadlines to make a program at 6.30, then always motivated to make a program on at 5.30 on the air. And I figure that whatever I do, I should do it to the best of my ability. And I hope that that is what I've been doing all these many years. Much of my growth in GIS television production, I really and truly want to say thanks to Tony Robinson. And I want to say thanks to Peter Ashley, who threw me on live television. After leaving the JIS at the end of 2007, Mrs. Van Horn Christie went over to central government the following year to continue her service in the field she does best, communication. With her communication background, we realized that she was able to assist us with, you know, whatever we had to do for minister in terms of administration. The most rewarding thing about my current job is that I am able to impart my knowledge to a young group of people. One thing I can say is that I have learned so much from her. She has taught me how to be strong and to be, you know, believe in what I am doing and to take the initiative to do the best that I can do. I'm grateful to have that level of experience that I can always call, call on and count on and she'll always be there for me. She worries about meeting deadlines that are sometimes impossible, but she gets the work done. And it's that kind of motivation that drives the team that we're a part of to do well and to continually exceed our targets. It's one of the most uh, fulfilling jobs I've had because these people are young, just coming out of school. And when you can sit back and watch them plan an event on their own, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. As Mrs. Winsome Van Horn Christie continues to serve, she has added her membership to the Customer Service Improvement Team at the Ministry of National Security. 
This falls under the government's service excellence policy, which was launched in July 2022. In recognition of her hard work, Winsome Van Horn Christie will, on October 17, receive the Badge of Honor for Meritorious Service for loyal and outstanding service to the public sector. She will be among other dedicated recipients of the 2022 National Honors and Awards. National Honors and Awards is something that I have worked on for years as part of the GIS production team. I have never seen myself <laughs> as one of those ever to be nominated. I always admire the people who are nominated for this award. I think that it is great for her hard work and dedicated service to be recognized. So it's a big deal for me, so I can imagine it's a big deal for her. Miss Hummy is really a nice person and she deserves this award. I see no better way of, you know, acknowledging her dedication, her hard work and her life's work um, than the award she has now. It feels good. It's something that I never thought about for myself, but it feels good to know that your sweat, stress, tears, hard work is being rewarded. So it's something that I accept with a lot of humility. <laughs>